So this series, a Cats in Trouble series. Let's try that again. Hey guys, it's Courtney from Courtagonist, and today I am going to show you my cozy mystery book haul. I'm super, super excited to show you the six book haul series that I hold recently. I am addicted to mystery novels, specifically cozy mystery novels. And hopefully this video will get you into the cozy mystery sort of reading. So without further ado, let's start. The first cozy mystery series that I am going to introduce is the Bake Shop Mystery series by Ellie Alexander. And I have the first five of her series, starting with Meet Your Baker. This series revolves around Juliet Capshaw and she returns to her hometown, Ashland, Oregon, to help heal a broken heart and to help her mom run their local bakery. Now she is a culinary artist. She just got done with culinary school and she's just returned home to sort of get her life back into sorts. The first book in the series is Meet Your Baker. It is actually set during their Shakespeare festival when one of Juliet's customers is actually found murdered. Not only is she a customer of their bake shop, but she is also a board member of the Shakespeare Festival. And she wasn't a very well-liked character. It is up to her and her local investigator, who actually used to be an old flame from high school, to find and catch the murderer so that the Shakespeare Festival can continue and get the revenue for the city that they need. So, so far in the series, I have read Meet Your Baker, and I have read the second book in the series, A Batter of Life and Death. Now, I have a weakness for funny puns, especially in the title. It just, it tickles me, and I just, when I see it in the bookstore, I can't help but go, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy it. I, I don't know if the series is good. I don't know what's gonna happen, but you got me, Ellie Alexander. You got me. The second series that I'm going to talk to you about is actually a magical bakery series by Bailey Cates. I love the fact that her titles are all alliteration, like brownies and broomsticks, bewitched, bothered, and biscotti. It's a pun and it's alliteration. The teacher in me is squealing. It's fantastic. So first in the magical bakery mystery is Brownies and Broomsticks. This series revolves around the story of Katie Lightfoot and she's tired of working in a bakery that she has no ownership of. So her, her uncle Ben and Aunt Lucy decide to open their own bake shop, Honey Bee Bakery, which is actually named after Katie's cat, which is fantastic. I love it when animals are are intertwined in the uh, stories. So Katie realizes that her Aunt Lucy is adding particularly, not necessarily baking herbs into their goodies. And she's wondering what her aunt does. Why is she doing that? And finally, she realizes that her aunt is a witch, a good witch at that, but a witch nonetheless. As their bakery becomes more and more popular, they're getting more and more customers. Well, one morning, they stumble upon a particularly grouchy customer, and he is found outside of their bakery murdered. Of course, their local sheriff believes that the prime suspect is Katie's uncle, Ben, and it's up to her and her Aunt Lucy and a little bit of magic to try and figure out who the real suspect is. The third series that I am going to introduce to you guys is A Coffee House Mystery by Cleo Coyle. Now, I've actually read the first one on what grounds, and if you follow my social media on Instagram, I've been posting about it as I have been reading it. And this is a fantastic series. It follows the life of Claire Causey. She is a coffee professional. She knows all about the ins and outs, the history of coffee. Claire Cossie is returning from New Jersey where she raised her daughter in the suburban area. 
Given an offer that she can't refuse by Madam, the owner of the historical coffee house Vintage Blend in New York. She's asked to come back and manage it. Not only is Madam the owner of the Vintage Blend, but she is also Claire's ex-mother-in-law. And throughout the series, you can see Madam trying to get Claire back with Matteo, her son. But on Claire's very first day moving in, to the loft above the coffee house, she stumbles upon a accident that happened with her assistant manager. Now the police take up evidence and they find that this was just an accident, but Claire's gut feeling has another hypothesis. She doesn't believe it was an accident. As the story continues, you follow along with Claire and you try and figure out who or if it was an accident, and if it was, how did it happen? Who did it if it wasn't an accident? What's fantastic about this series is that it's really, really hard to get me um, to not know who the murderer is or know the who done it. but this book actually made it to where I couldn't figure it out. It was, it was absolutely a fantastic read due to the fact that she got me. And that's really rare to be able to do. For how many mysteries I have read, I normally can get it, but not this time. If you want to read something that is beautifully written, the characters are really well um, drawn out and they give you enough background and you actually learn some history about coffee because I love myself some coffee, then this is a fantastic series to read. I'm reading her second book right now through the grinder. I'm about 50, 60 pages into it, and so far it is just as beautifully written as the first book. I'm super excited to get into this series and, and to figure out how Claire develops and what choices she makes throughout the series. So you should go and pick this up. The next series that I'm going to talk about is the Cats in Trouble series by Lee Ann Swinney. This series is all about Jillian. She is recently widowed and she has come to figure out that she needs to start brand new. So she moves into a new house with her three cats. Her three cats are all named after wine. There's Chablis, there's Merlot, and there's Syrah. In the first book of the series, The Cat, the Quilt, and the Corpse, Jillian comes home to find that her house has been broken into and one of her cats has been kidnapped or catnapped. So she has made it her mission to figure out who keeps kidnapping cats. She falls upon a corpse and now it seems that the catnaps and the corpse are intertwined in the same kind of mystery. So she makes it her her goal to figure out who done it, who is stealing cats and why, and why was this person murdered? So if you like the idea of cats being involved and you like the idea of a older protagonist, then I would read and I would pick up this series. The next series that I'm going to talk about is The Bookmobile Cat Mysteries by Lori Cass. As you can see, I have the first four books. The first book is called Lending a Paw. This series revolves around Minnie, a librarian, whose goal is to spread the love of reading by driving a bookmobile around her county and having people check out books from the library that way. You don't have to go to the library. The library comes to you. On her very first outing, she is actually followed by a tabby cat. Trying to shoo away the tabby cat, he seems to be very stubborn and refuses to leave. She finds herself with a co-pilot or a co-cat pilot and she names him Eddie. Their very first day of going and delivering books has come with no surprises. It seems to be very, very chill and relaxing until they come upon their last stop and Eddie bursts out of the truck to go run down an alley. Of course, Minnie's like, what is he doing? Why is he running away? So she follows him. They come across a corpse of a local man. Now, she was perfectly fine with letting the local police officers take over the case, but Eddie's acting strange. It seems that he doesn't believe the man's killing was a mere accident. He believes that it's a murder. So Minnie, with her 
co-pilot and her sidekick, Eddie, try to figure out who done it. Who killed the local man? Why did they kill the local man? This seems like a really, really, really good series to read. I haven't started it yet, but I'm super excited to. Let me know down below if you've read this series and tell me what you think about it. And the final series that I hauled is the Goodbye Girl series by Josie Bell. Now this series is all about women who are part of sort of a discount club. They want to find the best of deal. The first book in the series is 50% off murder. And this series revolves around a group of penny pinching women who call themselves the goodbye girls. They're extremely thrifty women who are always looking for a good deal. In the first book, 50% off murder, Maggie Gerber finds her friend, Claire Fremont, is acting extremely weird. She's late to one of the goodbye girl meetings, which is extremely unlike her friend. She goes to visit Claire and finds that maybe things aren't as abnormal as they seem until they stumble upon a dead body. The brand new sheriff and Maggie's old flame, Sam Collins, is pinning the murder on her friend Claire Fremont and it's up to her and her thrifty friends to cut a deal, to find out who really did the murder. Can they make a deal with Sam Collins or are they gonna have to pay full price? Check out the series and see what happens. Well guys, that is the end of this chapter of Court Tagonist. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some amazing new series that you want to read. Comment down below if you've read any of these series and tell me what you thought of them. What are some of your favorite cozy mystery series or series in, in general? And as always, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell if you would like to see more videos like this. And until next time guys, Happy reading. Bye.